Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States and welcome to downtown Washington, D.C. once again. We're here right on Constitution Avenue in front of the Department of Justice. This is actually the Robert F. Kennedy Department of Justice building on Constitution Avenue and we are next door to the U.S. Archives. And my friend here is Captain Nathan Hale. Now, I'm a little confused. I don't know exactly when he was promoted to captain, but Hale was a, a, a soldier in the United States Army at the time of the Revolution. Um, he joined in 1775 and was in about five months promoted to lieutenant. Now, he didn't have a particularly long or illustrious career, although he is considered an American hero. And in fact, uh, the state of Connecticut considers him a state hero. That's where he's from. Hale's claim to fame was that he was a spy. Yes, probably not our first spy, but certainly one of our first spies and very, very essential spies. When General Washington was defending what is now Manhattan in the city of New York, he, wanted, he didn't know what was going to happen. He was trying to get information about the British movements and what they were going to do. So he needed a spy, and nobody volunteered except Nathan Hale, the very young 20 or 21 year old soldier volunteered to go behind enemy lines, gather information and get it back to General Washington. Um, unfortunately, he was eventually caught, captured. Um, there are various accounts of how he was caught, whether he was recognized or whether somebody gave him up. Um, History is a funny thing. Uh, you, you can't ever be sure. But at any rate, he was captured in 1776. And then in September 21st, I believe, uh, of 1776, he was marched down the street and hung uh, for espionage because it was, even then, a, a act that was punishable by death. And they took that very serious in that day, for sure. Um, now, Hale is probably best known for a, a quote that he made uh, of his during his, his final speech before he was hung. And that is, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. Now, nobody actually wrote it down while he was speaking this speech. There's no stenographer. So that may be a revision of what he actually said. And the speech was actually much longer than that one sentence. It went on for a little while. And he said everything he had to say. But by all reports, he conducted himself with uh, dignity, even though he knew death was imminent. And uh, in a very appropriate fashion for a United States military officer. So that's why we consider Hale a hero. He gave his life at the command of his commander in chief, General Washington. This statue, bronze statue, uh, was cast around 1930, but um, was not set, dedicated, until 1948. I'm not sure why. Um, I will put the name of the sculptor down here on the screen. For those of you who I know may be interested in who the sculptor was. And it is roughly a life-size statue. You can see pretty much that is a one-to-one -one of what Captain Hale would have his stature would have been. So that's a little unusual. Not a lot of statues uh, are exactly one-to-one. -one. Uh, usually they're a little bit larger than life. Uh, even the equestrian statues are often just slightly larger, but a few exceptions around DC here, and this is one of them. And it says, Nathan Hale, Captain, Army of the United States, born at Coventry, Connecticut, June 6, 1755, in the performance of his duty 
he resigned his life, a sacrifice to his country, country's liberty, at New York, September 22nd, 1776. Okay, I'll, I was close. <laughs> anyway, that's it. It's kind of tucked in here about, I don't know, 30 feet from the sidewalk behind these beautiful crepe myrtle trees. And uh, I think a lot of people walk by and don't notice it. So if you're in DC and you're next to the archives by the Department of Justice building, you might want to check it out. It's a very pretty statue. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that short episode. If you got questions or comments, leave in the comment section down below. I love hearing from all of you. I'll try to get back to everybody. Ken, if you're new here, hey, fix subscribe. Come along for the adventure because we've got lots more to show you. And as always, well, thank you for watching.